Hello guys and welcome back to my Legion of the Dam tutorial. This is part 2. Now we're gonna continue with painting the faces of the skulls. So for this reason I needed evident black. And I started to make a mistake like you see here. Um, I started to paint the teeth and the nose and the eyes. As a reference you can use some skulls you have on this miniature somewhere there is one for sure. So you can easily compare what you're doing. And then how it should look like. I have done many corrections on this and uh, I would like to say I have done I have even done some more if I haven't said to myself okay stop this is enough that's good enough for you because I don't want to build such such an army maybe I would be some more exact if it was my army or something like that so if you want to correct these parts you use a shafty bone or zendri dust depends on where you made the mistake and I also painted some some cracks there it's just some thin lines so it looks like this just make sure you thin down the paint, then it's easier to paint with this black. I've done some more corrections here, but it wasn't okay. <laughs> and then some more and some more and some more. So um, I just highlight now the areas with Screaming Skull. You can edge highlight. Um, the helmet and um, the front Aquila, it's not an Aquila because the wings are missing. I don't know how it's called. This front symbol on the chest plate. And just edge highlight, keep, uh, keep in mind where the light is coming from, of course. And also highlight um, the areas around the eyes on the skulls we have painted by ourselves. And don't forget the purity seal. I always forget this one, I don't know why. So like you see here, I've made some, some highlights around the eyes. give it a little bit more depth. So the other ones I won't show you, this will take too much time and I don't want to have uh, 16 parts of uh, a tutorial here. So um, I hope that's okay for you because uh, it's the same step on every area you have with a skull here. So this is the result. This is the other skull. This is the first one and the one on the knee pad. So now it's gonna be very interesting because we like to do some flames and Use Mephiston red or any red tone you like to use. Um, thin it down and paint some flames on the armor wherever you want to have them. Uh, maybe on the helmet or on the knee or legs or wherever you want to have it. Just make sure, as I said before, use a fine detail brush and thin down the paint so so it's easier e easier to make some some make some straight lines and to control um, to 
control the paint and the brush. And again, I will show you only this shoulder pad. The other one is the same way. Just, yeah, try to be a little bit creative. What you like to have here. And I left some of the black uh, at the bottom because it looks better, I think. And if you said, oh no, I've made a mistake here, just correct it with Abaddon Black again. It's quite easy. Maybe you have to do a second coat when it's uh, not covering this good. But I was satisfied. So this is how it looks when you, what I've done here, I've painted both shoulder pads and just one of the legs because on the other side there's uh, this purity seal. I thought, okay, there's too much detail. Um, I don't want to have it uh, some kind of over some kind of overload for the for your eyes or for the eyes. So next is highlighting the flames with the uh, troll slayer orange. I just highlighted yeah maybe the 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 half of it of each flame. Make sure again it's it's uh, thinned down or diluted. When you use a fine detail, detail brush here, um, the, the paint will dry very quickly. So sometimes it's uh, mm. A little bit hard to to make the paint stay on the places you'd like to have it, like you see it here. So you have, often have to load the brush again. So this is done on every flame area here and it looks quite nice I think. And to have a to have a, some kind of more transition right now I we needed to do some uh, yellow highlights here. So just paint the top of it maybe on the edges some lines on the edges. It's always hard to do it in front of a camera because uh, it's in the way you haven't so much control and so just to the top and make some thin lines so in the next step I can show you this as you see it here and so now you have some nice flames on your miniature. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> so now we're gonna continue with the standard steps. It's um, highlighting all black areas with ash and gray. Means just edge highlight the areas hit by the light and um, yeah it's quite an easy quite an easy step in comparison to the things we made before
So this was part two. We have done very difficult stuff right now. So follow me to uh, the last part of this tutorial and I will show you some more specials I have made um, with this uh, miniature. I um, hope you like this video. Please rate, don't forget to comment and subscribe. Thank you very much. See you on the next part.